surprise <laughs> hello everyone welcome to morning coffee thank you so much for tuning in i bet you're wondering why morning coffee has been posted today and how i'm speaking so well well i didn't have the procedure done yesterday i was under the wrong impression i thought when i scheduled the appointment that it was going to be an appointment where we were going to handle the situation instead it was just basically like another a consultation type appointment where we could have tried to drain it again um, but that was not ideal um, so what I had to do was you know officially schedule an appointment for um, a minor surgery so that's going to happen on December 6th now which is perfect because that's a Friday which means that I'll have and it's like 10 in the morning so there's most likely going to be no yeah, probably won't be morning coffee that day. Um, this, this is December 6th. Um, but then it's, it's early in the morning. It's early enough in the morning where I'll have the rest of that day to recuperate. And then I'll have the weekend to recuperate. So I won't be taking away from potential time where I can do readings for people or I can keep with my weekly schedule of like lives and whatnot and morning coffee. So that is, in fact, quite ideal. I'm very, I, I was a little disappointed that I didn't get to do it. I uh, didn't get to, you know, handle it and have it done with, you know, yesterday like I had originally thought. But you know what? It's it's working out better this way. So anyway, I hope you guys had a good 11 11. Um, I'm, mine was pretty good, not going to lie, other than, you know, sitting in a doctor's office for an hour only to realize that I'm having to now reschedule <laughs> the appointment. You know, it was good. Um, uh, yeah, I believe that's all I wanted to say to begin with. But, so, um, welcome to Morning Coffee. This is going to be a general energy reading for your Tuesday, um, November 12th, 2019. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also, just because this is dated for the, 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 the 12th of November, this Tuesday, it doesn't have to resonate at that time. Please understand that time is an illusion and energy we are all we're basically talking about divine timing in these readings um everything flows in divine timing and there are no clocks in the universe just in our three-dimensional reality <clears throat> all right guys let's get into the message or the, to the reading for today so here's the deal <laughs> the at first one of the first cards that came out while i was doing while i was like collecting the energies channeling the energies and getting the message for today was the knight of cups and I was like, damn it with that freaking Knight of Cups, man. Can you, <laughs> I am so sick. <laughs> I am getting, it's so funny because at first, like we'll say years ago, we were sick and tired of seeing the Knight of, Tem a Knight of Pentacles. Well, now I'm getting sick and tired of seeing the Knight of Cups. And I don't know about y'all, but like there is no action going on on my end. I mean, at least not yet. So like, whatever, like you can take all this Knight of Cups action and you can, you know, shove it somewhere. I'm, I'm totally just kidding, you guys. I'm being dramatic. But anyway, so the Knight of Cups came out and I was like, well, it caught, it didn't come out. It caught my attention. And I was like, okay, all right, cool. And so then I kept shuffling and then I stopped for a second because I wanted to like light my sage and whatnot. And the King of Cups was on top of the deck. And I was like, you know what? I'm ignoring you. <laughs> I'm completely ignoring you. I don't want to hear about it, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. The King of Cups was on the top of the deck and the Ten of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck. And I was like, whatever. So then I lit my sage, I shuffled three more times and then I started pulling the pre-shuffle energies for today. And at first, the Hierophant came flying out at first. And I'm like, okay, all right, whatever. But then these two came out. The King of Cups with the lovers. And the King of Cups is facing you or facing us. And then the overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. And it's the side of the Ace of Cups where it's the nighttime scene and you see you have what I guess could be, oh, please excuse the nails, <laughs> what I guess could be the, um, the Knight of Cups here, okay? That could be the Knight of Cups creeping up on you. And you don't even know it. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. The masculine is like creeping up, creeping up, looking for marriage, looking for commitment, 
looking for a divine partnership, looking for a union, wanting this union. The strange, I'm getting a strange vibe from this, and it's not like it's that strange. It's just, it's an interesting vibe. Um, I just picked up that for some of you, this could be someone that you really do not expect. Or this could happen when you least expect it. I'm feeling like, I'm, I'm literally feeling like the masculine is standing there wanting to hand, offer a cup, <clears throat> ready to offer a cup to someone. Or at least he's getting ready. And y'all know how I am about love. Like I'm not, I'm not here purposely trying to, to focus on love. I'm not here trying to spy on anybody for you. The, the channel, the, the, the work that I do on this channel is mainly based around helping us find greater clarity within ourselves so that we can be the greater version of who we are so that we can be that greater version of who we are, so we can be a more whole version of who we are. And then from there, anything you want can come into your life. You are then in a perfect place to manifest anything you want, regardless of what it is. It doesn't have to be a little about love, but when these messages come out, I can't, I can't like, I can't not speak on them. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, you know, with that said, though, we are going to have some afternoon tea today, so we're going to talk about love specifically, but this is just the general message for today. I'm hearing the masculine is ready. He's getting, he's getting his affairs in order. He's getting all of his ducks in a row. I know the Hierophant can represent, you know, patriarchy or society or oligarchy like we were talking about yesterday, um, institution, uh, government, whatnot, whatever, but here distinctly, this feels especially with this Ten of Pentacles here, which is a card of family, um, establishment, uh, long-term, being something in for the long-term, commitment. Um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, longevity, uh, lineage, that, that kind of energy. This has to do with marriage, and I really feel like the masculine... I really feel like the masculine energies here or the counterparts here are really starting to mature to a place where it's like they're starting to see the value in a in a really committed partnership and this is just this is a specific part of the message here this is um for those masculines out there that may have been really against commitment marriage um, maybe even monogamy. There may be some individuals out there that were really into polyamory at one point, which I, I am not, that's crazy. I'm not going to, I just watched my camera, the, um, the timer on my camera go back like 30 seconds again. You guys remember when that happened a few days ago? I wonder why that happens. That's so weird. Anyway, um, not to say polyamory is a bad thing it's actually a legit form of expression like do you boo but there are some people out there that might have been using that as a as a front to not commit and it feels like it feels like there is a, a deep sense of emotional maturity that's being cultivated here that's being stepped into here and i'm just especially with this lover's card here i'm feeling an energy of the masculine king of cups being very aware of some sort of divine partnership divine union wanting to have that and i know there are many of you of, of the masculines out there that have already been in this energy so if so i'm kind of picking up on an energy of something new for a lot of people a new awareness for a lot of people but also now this could be a new awareness of some individual that could potentially be a counterpart for you that you may not have necessarily thought it could be in the past that's also this energy that i'm getting like it could be someone you didn't expect or it could happen in a way you didn't expect in a time frame that you didn't expect completely out of nowhere there's also a sense of some of the masculines, because I'm hearing oligarchy um, repeatedly, so that's leading me to believe that there are some masculines out there that are starting to wake up to the, pa I'm hearing the patriarchy's lies and deceit 
and is pulling away from it, is stepping out of that, is stepping away from this type of energy and moving more into this type of energy, which is unconditional love, fifth dimensional vibration, um, uh, the union of masculine and feminine within, wholeness within the self, union with the self. But again, the, the biggest thing that I'm feeling here, like I'm literally seeing the masculine stepping forward in, a, in terms of wanting, wanting marriage, wanting a commitment, uh, that sort of thing, especially with this Ace of Cups energy here, okay? <sighs> All right. So with that said, <laughs> so with that said, let's... Um, ooh. Let me just clear this up a little bit and then we'll get into the rest of the message for today. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, November 12th, November 12th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles. So we do have a full moon tonight. Full moon is in Taurus. That should be fun. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to see it because it's all rainy here today and cloudy and overcast. So I don't, I doubt I'll be able to see the full moon this time, but. Doesn't mean we won't feel it. I mean, <laughs> that's for sure. This is number three. Four. Oops. Um, but I also kind of feel like four. I feel like the f we might be talking about, <clears throat> this might be a little bit of full moon chat. I kind of feel that coming. Um, also, I keep hearing oligarchy. There could be some sort of situations in which the full moon is helping the masculine let go of some of those controlling energies. It's helping you release. If you are really looking to maybe have some sort of unconventional relationship, which would definitely be um, why is my screen so dark? There we go. Which would definitely be, which would definitely be what, Eric? Which would, <laughs> which would definitely be a divine partnership, um, something that is represented by the lovers here. So what you could be going through right now, some of the masculines out there could be, well, you masculines, for those of you that are watching, you could be going through a situation in which you're really letting go of some sort of patriarchal control or or. or, or, or Oligarchical, is that a word? Or, or, or whatever. So you get what I'm saying. Um, in order to have some sort of un, uh, unconventional relationship. And that absolutely could be a part of your emotional maturity. Emo emotional maturing. I'm really having trouble talking today. <laughs> All right. So let's see what else. Let's see. Well, let's see what else comes through here for, for the collective. For our Tuesday, November 12th. For our Tuesday. Is the full moon today? Yes, I think it is. We're gonna We're gonna give this one more shuffle. One more go. One more go. For the collective. Eyes are closed, so I don't know what's on the table yet. But we're gonna stop here. Did that did that? We'll take it out. Okay. Oh. Lord in heaven. All right. <laughs> we have overall energy. We have the three of wands with the nine of cups. That's good. Three of wands, nine of cups. Okay. We like that. Why does my screen keep going so dark? I don't like that. 
Anyway, but then we have the devil. The seven of pentacles wanted to come out, five of cups. But then we have the ace of wands. So here's the thing. Um, this actually is not bad. This really is not bad. So this is actually a continuation of what we were talking about yesterday, to be quite honest. Because the... Um, and if you didn't catch that reading, it was it was uh, for Monday the 11th, for the 11-11 portal. But um, Ace of Wands here. This is the inspiration to release yourself from sort of demonic... Demonic. I'm not saying, well, whatever. Some sort of ties to the devil, some sort of codependency, some sort of attachment. Um... There is a lesson that has been learned here between the five of pentacles and the, I'm sorry, the seven of pentacles and the five of cups. There's definitely a lesson that's been learned here. Um, I keep hearing olig oligarchical, patriarchal control. Someone has some sort of inspiration to move in a different direction. And this feels very fierce, okay? This feels very strong. I am definitely picking up on some strong, ag pretty, fairly aggressive masculine energy right now. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's actually, what I'm feeling is quite healthy because it is the momentum that you are needing to pull yourself out of some sort of control here. Something that's been keeping you away from a di divine partnership for some time. You do have the Three of Wands and you have the Nine of Cups, okay? Three of Wands is talking about being on your path, being uh, moving in the right direction, having made a choice and now following through with that choice, okay? So, so you could see, you could see this situation, the Devil, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, whatever you've learned here, you've made a choice in in response to what you've experienced here, right? And here's, the, here's your choice right here, Ace of Wands. And it's like, it's almost as if, this is, this is really strong energy in, <clears throat> in the sense that it feels like you almost had no other option but to go with this. Now, it could be for some of you, um, it could be that you really didn't have any other option, okay? There was only one way that this could go. Or for some of you, it was just, it was so clear. It was so clear that this was the way to go that you really, like, there was no, there was no denying it. There was no debate. You know what I mean? That's how, that's how strong of an inspired choice this has been or this is. And ultimately, it's going to lead you to wish fulfillment, okay? I'm really, I'm really picking, this is very, very strongly for a message for masculine energies out there. There is a, there is a deep sense of relief that I'm picking up on here in terms of what it is you want out of life, maybe out of love, out of a relationship. There has really been a change in perspective in terms of relationship dynamics. There are some of you out there that have really been denying yourself a true partnership that you may have really wanted just because of what society has to say about it. And we're definitely talking about some sort of unconventional relationship here. And it's really, it's really only unconventional because it goes against societal norms. That doesn't make it wrong. That doesn't make it weird. That doesn't, I mean, it might seem weird to people that don't have an open mind towards these things. You know what I mean? But I, I just want to make, make it very clear that just because I'm saying it's some sort of unconventional relationship, that doesn't make it wrong. It's only unconventional in terms of what people are used to, right? Okay. So, let's get some clarity here. Let's I want to define this a little bit more for you. De the devil, seven of pentacles, five of cups. And then, 
And then maybe we can we can clarify that ace of wands. And you have this three shuffles here. Um, there might be a lot of sexual energy surrounding this also. I can feel that very clearly, very strongly. Um, but also it's, it, it's, it might be sexual, but it's also, it's creative energy, right? So it might feel sexual in nature. Um, you might be very sexually attracted to a certain individual or whatnot. However, this is the energy, the creative energy that's, that's moving you forward. This is the spark of creation. I always think of that. If you guys are, are you guys familiar with the show, um, Children of Eden? It's a wonderful, wonderful musical. Um, I, I, I went to theater camp when I was a kid and in one year uh, we did Children of Eden and I played the part of Adam and Noah. I love that show. It was such an amazing, such a fun show to do. But every time I see this card with this Ace of Wands being struck by lightning, I think of this one song that Eve sings called The Spark of Creation, which is beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. Like I'm getting chills just thinking about it. It's such a great show. Anyway. <laughs> That sexual energy that you might be feeling is that creative, I'm hearing kinetic energy that is going to drive you forward. Okay. Oh, which is reminding me a part of when in the beginning of the, um, uh, before I started recording, I was just shuffling along, collecting the energies, and the Four of Pentacles and the Chariot came out. So there's something that someone is really letting go of and moving quickly towards. Or also what I was getting with that Four of Pentacles and the Chariot was an energy of someone moving quickly towards some sort of, or moving forward with some sort of foundation that they have built in order to bring someone into their life, something like that. Okay. So with all that said, let's clarify. The devil, seven of pentacles, five of cups. What is this energy that you're moving away? Well, well, there you go. Holy, holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there. I'm just gonna stop right there. Overall energy is the wheel of fortune. I told you, this is a transformation here. You have death, okay? You also have the 10 of swords, all right? Enough of the heartbreak, enough of the pain. Wow. Three of swords, six of pentacles. Okay. So this is a situation, in, and this is exactly what I was picking up on. For some of you, this is, a situ this is an end to situations that have kept you feeling mainly, and mainly for the masculine, okay, because the feminine has kind of already gone through this in a way and has already put up her boundaries in terms of this. For the, for the most part, okay? Um, that's collectively where a lot of the feminines are right now. The masculine is, it feels like, is now going through the period of overthrowing the patriarchy or the oligarchy um, and, and, and saying to themselves, look, I've learned my lesson here. I don't want to continue harvesting this shit. It's, it's leaving me unfulfilled. It's leaving me unhappy. It's leaving me feeling like I'm not getting what I deserve. I don't, I'm not getting what it is I truly want. I'm working and working and working towards something that is not giving me the payoff that I desire or that I was told I was going to get. Very much a bait and switch or, um, yeah, a bait and switch situation. This Six of Pentacles, is, especially with this Three of Swords here, is saying, I'm done. I'm done. I'm putting, the, uh, putting this to rest. I'm putting an end to this. And I'm changing death with the Ten of Swords. And I'm changing my future. I'm changing my destiny. I'm changing my karma. I'm stepping off of this karmic wheel. And I'm actually going to do go forward towards what it is I am truly inspired to move towards. What is really, truly going to make me happy. This feels, whatever, you, whatever this Ace of Wands represents for you, it feels so good. Like there is so much passion, so much strength, so much drive towards doing this. You're finally ready to move forward with this. Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, okay? The Three of Wands, in my, opi in my opinion, as a, car as a reader, is the energy of having made that decision, 
right? Let's talk about it this way. You have the Ace of Wands, you get inspired towards something. You move to the Two of Wands, in which now you have to make a decision. Then you make the decision, and now you're at the Three of Wands, where you can now either wait for the return on that investment that you made in the decision that you made, or you can start to get the ball rolling in terms of what it is you've decided upon, or what it is you've been inspired towards, right? And that's what I really feel like here. The ma some, there are some masculines out there that are really focused on getting the ball rolling. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Okay. Wow. Wow, wee, wow, wow. All right, so with all of that said now, let's, let's talk about this Ace of Wands here. Let's talk about the Ace of Wands. So what is this Ace of Wands for you? Let's stop here. We have the Magician and the Three of Wands again. Oof! Wow, with the Devil at the bottom of the deck. Holy shit, guys. Uh, so you're manifesting. You're manifesting. Go, okay, they're asking me to go a little deeper now. Okay, they wanted us to see the devil that was underneath. They wanted, they wanted you to see that because this is confirmation that you're moving away from the devil here. Okay, you're manifesting something new. You're on your path now. And okay, so already what the message here is, this devil energy that you're, that the, the oligarchy, if that's resonating for you, I keep hearing that. So that's probably resonating with a lot of people. Um, uh, whatever this, sorry guys, whatever the devil represents for you here, some sort of confor confinement, conformity, whatnot, whatever that sort of thing, you are manifesting your way out of it and it basically was there in your way, in your path to get you to take up this energy, the magician with the three of wands, to get you to now start to create for yourself instead of allowing others to create for you, instead of allowing others to tell you how you should create, what you should create, how you should go about manifesting what it is you want to create. Nope, you're taking your power back fully, 100% and you're driving the ship now. Of course, you can only drive so much. The universe is, on, is in control of a lot of other elements, but you're taking as much control as you possibly can and not allowing any the anyone, the devil, who, whatever the devil represents for you, stop you, all right? Yes, okay, we're, they're asking me to go deeper. All right, we're gonna go deeper into this Ace of Wands energy here. Two of Pentacles, ooh, wow, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, y'all, and there's the chariot, oh my God. Ace of Swords, Knight of, um, not, sorry, not the Knight, Page of Pentacles. There you go, apprenticeship, starting something new. We have the Chariot. All of these kind of fell in reverse here, but they're upright. We're gonna take them upright. Although the Two of Pentacles does, in reverse, does really work. Because originally when the Two of Pentacles in reverse came out, I was thinking of no longer keeping up appearance, no longer saving face, no longer just trying to keep the balance, no longer kowtowing, that kind of energy, no longer brown nosing, kissing ass, uh, sucking up, uh, you know, trying to play it safe, play it cool, or be the good little boy, the good little girl, like none of that. No, absolutely not. And then with the Ace of Swords and the Chariot here, you have the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding, the truth, the integrity. This Ace of Swords really feels like being aware of yourself, being true to yourself, being aware of your energy, aware of who you are, what it is that you want, and being balanced and, enough, and, and focused enough, confident enough to move forward towards that with the chariot, moving forward very quickly, very quickly, okay? Lots of momentum with that chariot energy. And then this page of pentacles here is the level up, is standing in this new energy, this new energetic space, almost like an apprenticeship. Sure, I'm kind of getting that energy, but like standing in this new energetic space of control of your domain and working your way up in this new space from that initial start in the page of pentacles all the way up to the king, queen energy, right? Beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. 
Okay, next step, Spirit's take on this. And then we'll get our Oracle Guidance. And actually, I think I want to go with the Crystal Mandala today. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. First, Spirit's take. And I don't want to really define anything specific. Um, I'm just going to, just the general message here for everything. What do you have to say about this, Spirit? All right, here we go. The Ace of Cups. Woo! Judgment. Wow. Queen of Swords, Six of Cups, Five of Wands, though. Oh, I get it. Okay. Um, so here you go, guys. Here's Spirit's take. Now, keep in mind, I am, I have, this reading is, is really, what I'm feeling here is mainly masculine energy. So we could be talking about a masculine individual, someone, whether you're a man or a woman, who, is resonate, who resonates naturally more with masculine energy than feminine energy. We could also be talking about the feminine, or I'm sorry, the masculine within you if you are someone that resonates more with the feminine side. Um, <clears throat> so take that, keep that in mind, all right? Take it as it resonates. But um, I really feel like this is mostly for the individuals that are resonating stronger with masculine energy. Again, that could be you in the sense that you know, you're in a period of strong masculine energy, but again, whatever, just take it as it resonates. But what is coming through here is there is an awakening, a calling, a resurrection, I want to say, rising from the dead, of course. Um, but with judgment and the six of cups here, there is, hmm, for some of you, what spirit is saying, for some of you, it, this is about getting back to what it is you truly desire, something that you've wanted ever since you were a kid. One of the reasons why you even came to this, to this life, to this incarnation, okay? F for some of you, that is family. For some of you, that is marriage. For some of you, that is a relationship. For some of you, that is any, it, it, it could be anything. It really could be anything. I'm getting a very strong resonance towards love, obviously, because <clears throat> we have this Ace of Cups here. All right. <clears throat> but with the Queen of Swords, this is asking you to cut out all of the superfluous bullshit. Five of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely a situation in which someone is going against the grain, is going against, you know, what is uh, against the norm. I mean, obviously, that's what we've been talking about here all day, all, you know, throughout this reading. OK, um, and this Queen of Swords energy is going to help you to cut away all of the superfluous energy, all the all the, the opinions, five of wands, the circumstances, the the the, the confusion, the, the 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 ego battles, whatnot, whatever, even the internal conflict that you could be experiencing, you know, with your ego saying, No, I can't do that or I shouldn't do that or or blah blah blah, whatnot, whatever, and and, and yet you're hearing this call from spirit which is saying to you, go towards your destiny. Right? That's literally what I just heard. Go towards your destiny. That's what judgment is saying here. Don't let your ego stop you. Don't let your ego get you down. This is really a beautiful message today, guys. Really a beautiful message. Okay. So let's close out the reading with your, or oops, with your oracle guidance. I almost dropped a card there. Okay. Let's see what we get. I have to admit, there's got to be a lot of sexual energy running through the collective right now because I've been feeling that a lot lately, over like the last week. And there were moments where I would be like doing a reading collectively or listening to a reading collectively and it would just like 
it would literally light me up. Like it would, it would it, this might be a little bit of TMI, but it, like it would totally turn me on. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so I, what I wanna say in terms of that is absolutely harness that energy for yourself. Cause that's, that is what's going to drive you. Absolutely 100% that's going to drive you, okay? All right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. And like, I'm, I'm totally feeling it right now. It's strange. Oh, a Kundalini awakening. Oh, I get it. We're in, a, we're in an awakening cycle, guys. This actually might be a, uh, an awakening for the masculines in particular. Mm -hmm. Gotta love it, gotta love it. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oracle guidance for you guys to close out this reading. There it is. Okay, card number nine, Archon Barbello and Picture Jasper. Support, very interesting. <clears throat> Here we go. We bring you the gift of support. Our support is available to you on all levels. We offer spiritual support in, of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. We offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to ones that enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. We are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is only ever a prayer away. This is absolutely a perfect card for this right now. Since someone seems to be overthrowing some sort of oligarchy, patriarchy, whatnot, whatever, whatever you wanna call it, in the name of love, in the name of love. Ace of Cups. And this really could be, I mean, this definitely starts with love for the self. You have to love yourself enough to know that you deserve better, to allow yourself to go after, you know, whatever better it is that you want for yourself, right? And then that love can be extended to another person. I do feel like this could have to do with another person, ultimately, but right now the focus could be on breaking yourself free. You know what I mean? I'm gonna leave it there actually because the message came through enough adequately, yeah? So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you later on for afternoon tea, yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.